doing today? How you doing today? Dirty old rear view camera bills up here, eh? Freaking right it is, boys and girls. Be more safe. Why wouldn't you? Got myself in a little uh, backup camera for the old Silverado there, boys, because I need to see where the hell I'm going when I'm back into the trailer and stuff. Makes it just so much easier, eh? I'm not old school anymore. I need a camera. I'm almost handicapped, I am. Look at some of the comments. They think I'm handicapped, so that's what I am. Freaking right I am. Pick this up, 16 bucks, boys, and she's steel. So it's just a cheap EA. Probably won't only work for like a week. I'm right on top of the camera. Let me back up a little bit. It's not too bad out tonight. It's a little cool still, but it's nice enough to open the door. Is that lens dirty? Probably. So I'm going to go grab the thing off the back of the truck, and then I'll explain how I did it, because I did start it, and I might not finish this tonight, but at least I get you something, eh? Boys. So I got this camera and I thought to myself, you gotta drill a hole, eh? You gotta put a hole in the old truck Ruski and I didn't want to. So a lot of guys put them here. Or here. On this plastic piece. But I like things in the center I do, eh? So how this piece comes off, boys, if you're not wondering, take a plastic stick, eh? You want something that's not gonna wreck the old paint job, eh? So you just pop that off like so. I haven't hooked it up yet so I can show you how I did her. And then this just comes right out, boys. See, it's got three little clips. Make sure you lube them up before you put it back together. But I put my camera, I like things in the center, like I said, so I put my camera right in the center, boys. So if you take this clip off here and drill a hole, she just fits in, eh? Look at that. Freaking right it does. So that's where I put my camera, because I like, like I said, I want it in the center, I do. Freaking right I do. I gotta run the wire down the tailgate, in through this little hole down there, hey? And then it goes all the way down, and I'll have to drill a hole in the bottom of the tailgate to get the wire ran to the front. That there, we'll get doing that. But maybe not tonight, but that's how those things come off if anybody's wondering. And they just click back on, it fits flush, and it points down, and it's nice and neat and tidy, boys. Hey, check that out. That's freaking decent right there. That there is freaking de de decent. But, I noticed something. I was laying under the truck and I noticed something I want to fix. So you're going to watch me fix this here and then we'll get back to the freaking camera deal later on, eh? But underneath here, I don't know if you can see or not, this thing was flapping around. Actually, it was stuck out like this. I'm like, what's really going on? Well, I noticed that it's broke right there. Looks like it's been dragged on the ground or something. So what I'm going to do to fix this little quick problem, I'm going to drill a hole here, drill a hole here, and I'm going to zip tie it. Freaking right I am. I don't want to buy that whole freaking piece. What the hell would I want to do that for? Not everybody's mechanically inclined, you know. Not everybody. So, what you want to do here, you want to make sure you're in the center, like so, and just drill a little hole through it. Decent. And then we want to drill a hole through this bracket. And it's only plastic, boys, so it's real easy to do it is. But this will stop any snow or anything from pulling her down and jab her, boy. Oh, that hole's a little tight, it is. I like it tight, boys. Girls, people. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you like the uh, fucking review camera there. Like I said, hopefully I maybe get some ambition to get her done tonight, but I doubt it. Eh? I'm not in the mood tonight to do the whole job. Gotta save some things you do. Slide her through. I want to make her so the zip tie is around the corner because I don't want to see it. Put that in there like this. I'm using one hell of a big zip tie because I want her to be young in there. But give her a little snuggy, snuggy, and that's how you do a quick fix. That there ain't gonna go friggin' nowhere. I'm kinda picky when it comes to shit like this, eh? It's just little things, boys, but little things make the difference, they do. Just like this underneath of this truck, so many, uh, it's been Z-bar today. I don't like Z-barting because they spray it on the frame, it's like a goop and it stays there. If you don't keep boiling it, it dries out and then it rusts underneath it. So sometime here or there somewhere, we're gonna get this truck on the hoist at work and I'm gonna scrape the frame. Yes, you heard me, I'm gonna scrape the frame. And I'm gonna get it oiled right, boys. She's gonna be mint because there's a lot of crisp crusties. Look at it. See, it just wants to fall off. I don't like that. It comes off in chunks like that. Hey, I'm just gonna cock over the friggin' shop when I do this. Everyone's gonna have a fit of it. What the hell? That shit all over my damn floor, you did. Hey, it is what it is. Nice shape underneath. She's rusty, of course, but it's solid. So we just gotta get all this crusty shit off one day and do her right. Cause that's just not passing my satisfaction at all. Like, look at it, it's just coming off in chunks. Boys, man, I got a lot of work ahead of me. Holy. I can't wait to do it though. Wanna check the U-joints, hey? Wanna take the spare tire down and clean it up. It's all rusty and cocked over. So we'll get it down and 
See what kind of shape it's in. Looks like it's never been down. Boy, she's original. So we'll get that done. And this and that and the other thing. This truck's gonna be one hell of a project it is. Hey, because I'm just fussy. I'm gonna make her like the uh, safari I am. Hey, she needs to be safari sized. I'll put a link below for this camera if anybody wants a backup camera. My radio is set up for it. So I just gotta run this wire all the way to the front of the truck, boys. That's a reverse trigger, but I'm not gonna use it because my head unit has reverse. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook this up so it comes on when the key's on, and that's the way it stays on. And I'll put a Y on this, and I'll put one to the reverse camera. When you put it in reverse, it comes on. And I'll put one to the video one on the friggin' deck so I can hit video one, and I can view it anytime I want when I'm pulling. So it doesn't have to be in reverse all the time to look out the camera. But at the back, it just plugs into the camera, like so, and you just gotta ground it. The red's for a reverse light, which I'm not gonna use, because I'm gonna power it all the time, so I just need the ground. And that's it, boys. Hey? Sounds easy. Sounds easy. But I gotta drill a hole in the bottom tailgate and a hole through the box, so I can run the wire through nice and neat and tidy, because I want it in the center, too. I'm a center kind of guy, boys. And then I'll run it right to the front, but I think we'll do that on the hoist at work, because I'll be able to run the wire nice and neat and tidy. I'll get some nice small loom for this, so it's all loomed up, and uh... She'll be mint. I want to mount these little guys on the back bumper underneath. I found a spot for them, but I'm not going to show you right now because it's a friggin' surprise. Friggin' right it is. What would it be? Hey? Eh? How the hell would it be? I wish there was more time in the day, but there's not. It's going to be dark soon. That's why I don't want to start running wire right now. Look how good the camera looks. Can you see it there, eh? I know. And it's in the middle where it's supposed to be. And not through the metal where it's not supposed to be. It's in the plastic. Fuck yeah, it's in the plastic. Oh, another thing I want to talk about. Chevy Silverado. The only thing bad on this truck was the bottom of the door where I showed you when I did the body work and the friggin' box sides, of course, they're starting to buckle a little bit. They eh? little bumps here and there on them. I picked up a pair of these boys from Gold Glass and Accessories. Friggin' right, I did. And I'm gonna cut probably almost to here on the truck. I'm gonna cut it right out, clean all that foam out. I'm gonna weld these in with Sean. Me and Sean are gonna do it. We're gonna weld these in. And then my buddy at JJ is gonna paint the box for me. I was gonna buy a Southern box for it, but I said, why buy somebody else's problems? Because there's foam in the boxes from the Southern, so they're still gonna rust down there. So they always put foam in between here on these Chevys, eh? So all the dirt and everything sits up here. If you don't take off the back tail light, you don't spray in here for oil, you're dickered. I'm going to take all the foam right out because if there's dirt and foam in here, the oil doesn't get through the foam. So that's why they rust from the inside out. Little tech of the day from Bill Silva. So we'll get these in here. And these are actually the good ones, boys. There's two different kinds you can buy, two different gauge metals. This one's a good one. So this is RRP3765. RRP3766, boys, if you're looking for them. They're about 100 and 120, 130 bucks a side. You can get cheap ones for 60. And uh, I'm just not into the cheap ones. I want a little bit heavier dutier ones, I do. That's why I got a good deal on this truck, because they did some rust starting on the box. Big friggin' deal. The box is meant other than that. And it's not that bad, boys. I mean, it's just a little bit, but I want to cut her all out and get the foam out of there and put nice new metal in there and she'll be good to go for another 10 years, eh? Comment below if you think I'm smart on what I'm going to do here if you're a body guy. If you get a southern box and there's dirt in there and you spray it with oil, you're still going to have the same problem. The foam's still there and it's still going to rust down the road in Canada because there's salt down here, eh? So get that out and dig it out and just have metal in there and oil the shit out of her. She'll be mint. I've got to fix a little bit of the inner fender well too, but that's going to be freaking easy. It's going to be a part, so we'll be able to get to it. So we'll cut all that bad shit out. Get that all fixed up, sprayer, pop the inner fender wells back in her, eh? And uh, get the box painted by Jamie and she'll be mint, boys. Let me know in the comments below if you think I should slam the old Silverado. Put some airbags in her for when I'm pulling the trailer. Take the airbags out of the Astro Van, but the Astro Van needs it for the weight of the stereo, for Christ's sakes. Sorry, boys. Safari. Please play again. For frig's sakes. Anybody win on these Tim Horton cups yet? Oh, wait, I shouldn't say that. I want a friggin' donut, boys. Friggin' donut again. My neighbor probably thinks I'm crazy, eh? He's out there doing something, and I'm just in here talking to you guys like crazy. He probably thinks I'm nuts. I am nuts. Most YouTubers are, boys. But anyways, this is a short little video there. And I'll come back to you on the weekend. We'll finish hooking up that reverse camera and maybe mount some lights to the back of the bumper. And uh, I want to run a power supply to the back of the box inside so when I'm playing RCs, I can charge everything right with the tailgate down. So I got to run a ground and a positive back there from the battery too. So we'll get that going. So I got a whole bunch of stuff coming up, boys. Just got to have that patience. But hopefully everybody's having a good day like I am and didn't do anything I didn't do. And uh, you know what to do for now. <laughs>